I saw that. Brick killed a guy. Chuck McGill is in the running for the most hated character in the Breaking Bad universe, right there next to Skylar White. And it's not hard to see why. Chuck isn't an easy man to like, which was always at the core of his conflict with his brother. Over the course of the early seasons of Better Call Saul, the reason behind Chuck's hatred of Jimmy becomes clear. Chuck is everything that Jimmy isn't, but more importantly, Jimmy is everything that Chuck isn't. Chuck can't relate to people the same way that Jimmy can. He's brilliant, but unlikable, and that fact has been hammered home to him since he was a child. Chuck's hatred of Jimmy is as understandable as it is frustrating. As much as we, the viewer, want Chuck to accept and respect Jimmy, we eventually understand why that's not possible. But personal feelings aside, Chuck's antagonism becomes more justified the more you think about the events of Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Chuck was right about his brother, and right to be concerned about him becoming a lawyer. You have to know on, on some level, I know you know I'm right. You know I'm right. We see the entirety of Better Call Saul through the perspective of Jimmy. He's our protagonist, and the writers do an excellent job of making us invested in his success. We know how Jimmy ends up in Breaking Bad, and Better Call Saul is about the tragic journey that leads him to that place. Chuck plays a massive role in this, and it's through Jimmy's relationship to Chuck that we see his good nature as well as his desire to win at all costs. Jimmy spent his entire life trying to gain Chuck's approval, only to realize that Chuck only wanted to see his little brother get so far. Once Jimmy elevated to a level near Chuck's own, he soured on Jimmy, employing varying degrees of obstacles to stop Jimmy from continuing to practice law. Is it jealousy fueling Chuck's motivation? Sure, that's part of it, but we get a deeper look into Chuck's full perspective during his mask off moment in Season 1 Episode 9, Pimento. After bringing the Sandpiper case to HHM and getting denied a job for the second time, Jimmy eventually figures out that it's been Chuck sabotaging his career from the beginning. When Jimmy confronts Chuck in his home, Chuck lays it all out for him. The truth for the first time in a long time. Chuck tells Jimmy that he's not a real lawyer, that Chuck worked his ass off to get where he is, and that Jimmy takes shortcuts at every turn. He goes on to say that he's worried about Jimmy becoming a lawyer, and he clearly feels like he needs to put a stop to it. Of course this is heartbreaking for Jimmy to hear. His own brother has been working against him the whole time. You can see it in his face while Chuck is speaking. Even worse is that Chuck, the person who knows Jimmy better than anyone, believes that Jimmy could cause unspeakable harm as a lawyer. People don't change. You're slipping Jimmy. And slipping Jimmy I can handle just fine, but slipping Jimmy with a law degree is like a chimp with a machine gun. The thing is, Chuck was absolutely right here. Everything he said during this speech came to pass. Jimmy, as Saul, directly and indirectly left death and destruction in his wake. Jimmy admits as much during his speech in the final episode. Without him, Walter White would have been dead or arrested. Jimmy was Walt's right hand. How many people would still be alive if Jimmy hadn't actively sought a position within Walt's inner circle? How many lives were ruined because he did? No. Fido Corleone? <laughs> no shit. Right now you're Fredo. But, you know, with some sound advice and the proper introductions, who knows? Throughout Better Call Saul, Chuck expresses a supreme understanding of Jimmy. He calls out Jimmy's plot to alter the Mesa Verde documents down to the letter, and proceeds to manipulate a confession out of Jimmy by playing to his sympathetic nature. He then purposefully leaks the tape, knowing that Jimmy would break in and open himself up to disbarment. After that happens, Chuck gives Jimmy his version of a heart-to-heart -heart as they wait for the police to arrive. He tells Jimmy that this is all for his own good, that he believes Jimmy can change and that he'll be there for him when he eventually finds his path. As a viewer, we see this from Jimmy's perspective. It comes off as a pretentious, empty justification for Chuck's despicable and manipulative actions. But when you look at it with the full context of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, it really was in everyone's best interest to stop Jimmy from continuing to practice law. As far as Chuck went, and as much as he betrayed his brother, he was trying to stop the inevitable, slipping Jimmy turning into Saul Goodman. I should have stopped him when I had the chance. And you, you have to stop him. You... Jimmy's inclination to win at all costs is one of his biggest strengths as a lawyer and as a criminal, but it's also a part of what Chuck saw in him. As Chuck often reminds him, Jimmy hurts people. He doesn't always mean to, and he certainly feels bad about it afterwards, but that doesn't change the facts. Let's do a quick recap of Jimmy's greatest hits. He stole money from his father's shop until he was forced to close it down. He turned a retirement community on an innocent old lady for money. His actions led to Chuck taking his own life after being pushed out of HHM, and then he let Howard believe that he was responsible for it. He got a dangerous drug lord out of prison, and then focused his attention on ruining Howard's career, which combined to lead to Howard's death as well. His influence arguably ruined Kim's life too, and that's all before Walter White cooks his first batch of meth. We're done. When I say we're done. There's an argument to be made that Chuck played a large role in pushing Jimmy towards becoming Saul Goodman, which is probably true. 
Chuck's inability to accept his brother pushed Jimmy towards the other side. Eventually, Jimmy lived up to what his brother thought of him, reaching his full potential as a consigliere to a drug lord. Let's imagine that Chuck didn't have all of his glaring flaws, that Chuck gave Jimmy a position at HHM alongside him. Would that be enough to change anything? I'd argue that the answer to that question is a resounding no, and we're shown as much when Jimmy gets the job at Davis and Maine. The corporate restrictions were too much for him, so he does everything in his power to get fired. Why would a position at HHM work out any differently? I know I don't sound very good, but I'm just learning. I heard that the key is you have to keep this bag inflated. Enough! We see Chuck through Jimmy's eyes throughout the whole series. He's selfish, manipulative, and lacks empathy. He takes Jimmy's kindness for granted and misses no opportunity to undermine his brother's accomplishments and personal character. But that doesn't mean he's wrong about Jimmy. Even if his influence played a large part in turning Jimmy into Saul Goodman, it's irrelevant. Because Chuck couldn't change who he was any more than Jimmy could. On the point of changing, let's talk about the end of Jimmy McGill's story and the eventual redemption arc. After months of playing the meek, unassuming character of Gene Takovic, Jimmy taps into Saul Goodman again and starts running scams for some extra money. Of course, this all catches up to him, which leads to his arrest. Jimmy continues to employ his time-tested manipulation after the arrest, using the prosecutor's perfect record against him and negotiating a sweetheart deal for himself. The redemption came when Jimmy declined to take the easy road out and admitted to everything in court, accepting a far heavier punishment than he would have otherwise gotten. But did this decision show that Jimmy's changed? Does it show that Chuck was wrong about him this whole time? I don't think it does. What was the one thing Jimmy wanted more than anything throughout Better Call Saul? What was the one thing that all the money and status in the world couldn't replace? Respect. Jimmy fought his whole life to gain the respect of his brother. He may have had it for brief moments, but Chuck was never truly proud of Jimmy for that long. At the end of the series, Jimmy isn't quietly falling on his sword because it's the morally right thing to do. He's making a massive show of taking responsibility to gain the respect of Kim, the only living person whose opinion still matters to Jimmy. So no, Jimmy didn't change by the end of Better Call Saul. His primary desire was always to gain the respect of the people he loved. It just so happened that, in this instance, the morally right thing to do aligned with his goals. My brother is not a bad person. He has a good heart. It's just... He can't help himself, and everyone's left picking up the pieces. I'm not saying that any of this makes Jimmy a bad person, just a complicated character. And the same goes for Chuck. Chuck being right about Jimmy doesn't make him the good guy. He's still one of the worst brothers a person could ask for, and undoubtedly played some role in molding Jimmy into Saul Goodman. But the world of Better Call Saul is one of determinism, not free will. You can control your actions, sure, but actions are driven by desires, and these characters can't control their desires. Chuck saw that within Jimmy, but his major flaw was that he was unable to see it in himself. If he had been, maybe he could have made a difference. I know what you were, what you are. People don't change. You're dripping Jimmy. Of course, that's just my take. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. <laughs>